got a question for you guys. You watch my videos, you see how I sit. Do I have good posture? I mean, sure, you only see me when I'm making a video, but still, that should be enough to go off of, right? My back's straight. I'm sitting up right. Why does everything always have to be about posture with these people? I'm serious. First, we had the TE3 Ninja, which was just a stick. But it had Bluetooth. No. And then we had the Ergo, which could pretty much ruin your back. I mean, let's face that. That seems to be the go-to medical Kickstarter scam right now. Hi, our product is so revolutionary that it will save you from any future back trouble at all. What about age-related disabilities like arthritis? We don't talk about that. Look, all I'm saying is that every time you see a Kickstarter saying that it will help you sit up straight and promote better posture, just run. Run the other direction. Run the other way. No, I'm not talking brisk walk, I mean run. Because for today's project, we have the Posture app. <sighs> May God have mercy on our spines. The number of smartphone users worldwide is expected to reach over 2 billion. And what that means is more and more people are hunched over their phones using their mobile devices. All right. Right off the bat, I'll admit it. I am a small YouTuber with very little funding. My sound quality is somewhere around that piece of shit that you find buried under other pieces of shit. But I'm not asking you to fund a project here. I'm just doing this for fun. Sure, I make money off of ads that play on my videos, but that's passive income. I don't have to do anything for that, but make content that I was already gonna make anyways. These guys here are using some kind of wind tunnel to record their pitch video. Pro tip, don't do that. Posture app beginnings came from my ongoing frustration with seeing my own kids hunched over their technology. And then I noticed a lot of kids. Then I've noticed a lot of adults. I began to see it everywhere. So I knew that if I could create a baked in technology within that phone at a very affordable price point, that I could change the behaviors of the entire country, of the entire world that is using mobile devices. That was the beginning of it. Hold the phone there, Bill Gates Jr. That's only assuming that one, your technology works, two, your technology gets picked up by either consumers or phone manufacturers, and three, your technology is beneficial enough and enjoyable enough that people keep using it for a prolonged period of time. And guess what? None of those things. None of those things are true. As a matter of fact, first time I've ever done this, but I'm gonna make a claim right here and now. This project won't even get funded on Kickstarter. And I can say that with such certainty because it is just that shitty. Then we sat down, we started sketching some things out. We got to work, a lot of work, a lot of hours, a couple of years to bring today, which I'm very excited, roll out of the Posture app. The Posture app can be viewed as training wheels for your posture, posture improvement. The Posture app runs in the background, so you could be checking social media sites, your email, text, Hold up, replay that. So you could be checking social media sites, your email, text. The phone user's back didn't even move. She just adjusts her arms a little bit in order to stop the phone from going off. That's not gonna correct her posture. That's just gonna make her arms tired. Your own pitch video just proved that your product doesn't work. You just did my job for me. And the posture app will continue to work. And when folks are holding it and find themselves slumping down, getting into the hunch, they're gonna feel either a vibration or a sound, depending on which they prefer, and it's gonna prompt you to come up. No one even knows you're working on your posture. Oh, believe me. Anyone holding their phone like this is either working on their posture or taking a selfie. They're gonna know. I'm a chiropractor. And one of my certifications is as a CPAP. Finally, something to debunk in this video. It stands for Certified Posture Exercise Professional. All right, look, I could go on and on about how a chiropractor by nature isn't a real doctor. I could give you tons of examples debunking the very essence of this lady's profession beyond belief. And I'm probably gonna do that at one point. That might be a case video coming up in the future. But for this specific situation, I found something very, very special. What did she say her certification was? CPEP. CPEP! She's 
shall we say, C-pepped. What if I told you I could be C-pepped? Me, a guy sitting in a computer chair making a YouTube video. No formal education required. I could go get C-pepped right now. You wanna know how? You sign this. That's it. Enjoy your new career. Posture affects hormones. What people don't necessarily know is that hormones directly affect our mood. Look lady, you can say that all you want, but I'm pretty sure any guy currently in a relationship with a woman is very aware hormones can affect your mood. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure if you know what a hormone is, you know hormones affect your mood. That's just common knowledge. You're trying to sound smart, but you're making dumb words come out your mouth. I am so done with that video. I'm actually starting to get a little bit upset because of it. Look, all this is is an app that uses the phone's built-in accelerometers to detect when the phone is in the upright position. That's it. No external devices, no super coding needed. It's just a little simple app. And the big problem I have with this project is the fact that they think that's a good thing. You have a nice day, guys. I'm gonna go take the CPEP certification. $249, never mind.